Adventure on the Express Train Chapter 1 The Mysterious Ticket Marion was rummaging through the attic one rainy afternoon, the sound of raindrops tapping gently on the roof. He was searching for old toys and forgotten treasures when he stumbled upon an old, dusty box hidden under a pile of blankets. Curiosity piqued, he carefully opened the box to reveal an assortment of trinkets and memorabilia. Among them, a peculiar ticket caught his eye. It shimmered with a golden hue, reflecting the dim light of the attic. As he held the ticket up to the light, the words express adventure glowed brightly, almost as if alive. Foxy, his electric blue and shimmering purple fox, bounded over to investigate. She sniffed the ticket curiously, her green emerald eyes sparkling with excitement and intrigue. Look, Foxy. This ticket must be special, Marion exclaimed, his voice filled with wonder. As he turned the ticket over in his hands, he noticed tiny, intricate writing along the edges. He began to read the small print aloud, and as the words left his lips, the ticket started to hum softly. The hum grew louder, filling the attic with a strange, melodic vibration. Suddenly, a portal swirled open right before their eyes, shimmering with every color of the rainbow. Marion and Foxy exchanged a quick, excited glance. Without a moment's hesitation, they stepped through the portal and found themselves at a magnificent train station. The station was bustling with creatures of all shapes and sizes, some familiar, others fantastical. The express adventure train stood majestically on the platform, its sleek, gleaming exterior promising untold adventures. Marion could hardly contain his excitement as he looked around. Foxy's fur glowed even more brilliantly in the light of the station, her tail flicking with anticipation. They had no idea what awaited them, but they were ready for the journey of a lifetime. Chapter 2 The Enchanted Forest Their first stop was the Enchanted Forest, a place of breathtaking beauty and magic. As Marion and Foxy disembarked from the express adventure train, they were greeted by the sight of dense trees glowing with an ethereal light. The leaves shimmered with hues of emerald, gold, and sapphire casting a mesmerizing glow on the forest floor. Foxy's vibrant electric blue and shimmering purple fur blended perfectly with the magical surroundings, making her look like a creature born of the forest itself. As they ventured deeper into the forest, a riddle suddenly appeared in the air before them, written in sparkling, silver letters. To find the key to the next door, solve this puzzle on the forest floor. Marion and Foxy exchanged curious glances before looking down to see intricate patterns and symbols carved into the ground. The carving seemed ancient, yet they pulsed with a faint, magical light. With Foxy's keen senses and Marion's sharp mind, they began to study the patterns. Foxy sniffed and pawed at the symbols, her eyes glowing with intelligence and curiosity. Marion knelt beside her, tracing the lines with his fingers. Look, Foxy, this part connects here, he said, excitedly fitting pieces together. As they worked in unison, the symbols started to align, forming a coherent image. The forest around them seemed to hold its breath, waiting. Finally, with a soft click, the puzzle was complete. The ground trembled slightly, and a hidden pathway revealed itself, illuminated by a soft, golden light. At the end of the path lay a golden key, glowing softly, as if inviting them to take it. Marion picked up the key, grinning from ear to ear. 
on to the next adventure, Foxy, he cheered, his voice echoing through the enchanted trees. Foxy barked happily, her tail wagging with excitement. They returned to the train, ready for whatever mysteries awaited them next. Chapter 3 The Fiery Mountain The train's next stop was at the base of a towering, fiery mountain, its peak obscured by clouds of smoke and ash. As Marion and Foxy stepped off the train, the ground beneath them vibrated with the mountain's intense heat. Rivers of lava flowed down its sides, casting an eerie red glow over the rocky terrain. Foxy's reflective fur shimmered even brighter in the fiery light, creating illusions that danced around them, making it difficult for any predators to focus on them. As they began their ascent, the heat became more oppressive. They encountered fire-breathing creatures that roamed the mountain, their scales glinting like molten metal. Marion and Foxy had to use their wits to avoid these dangerous beings and the molten streams that crisscrossed their path. Each step was a challenge, the air thick with heat and the ground hot beneath their feet. At one point, they reached a dead end, with a towering wall of flames blocking their way. Marion wiped the sweat from his brow and scanned the surroundings, desperate for a solution. His eyes caught sight of ancient runes etched into the rock beside them. Foxy, if we can decipher these runes, we might find a way through, he exclaimed, his voice barely audible over the roaring flames. Together, they studied the intricate symbols. Foxy's sharp eyes and Marion's quick thinking led them to understand the runes' meaning. Foxy's paw pressed a hidden lever within the runes, and with a rumble, the wall of flames parted, revealing a safe passage through the mountain. They hurried through, the cool air of the passage a welcome relief from the intense heat outside. At the top of the mountain, they emerged into a serene clearing. There, amidst the rocks, they found another clue a fragment of an ancient map that glowed with a mystical light. This clue was a step closer to their final destination and the treasure they sought. Marion and Foxy shared a triumphant smile, their spirits undeterred by the challenges they had faced. Chapter 4 The Hidden Treasure The final leg of their journey brought Marion and Foxy to a mysterious island floating in the sky. The island hovered above the clouds, its edges draped in cascading waterfalls that sparkled in the sunlight. Exotic plants, unlike anything they had ever seen, thrived in this magical place, their colors vivid and surreal. The air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers and the soft hum of mythical creatures that guarded the island. As they explored, they marveled at the creatures' griffins with majestic wings, unicorns with shimmering horns, and gentle dragons whose scales glistened like precious gems. The island felt like a living fairy tale, each corner revealing new wonders. Eventually, they stumbled upon a large, ancient door set into a hillside, its surface covered in intricate carvings depicting legendary adventures and mythical symbols. Marion carefully held up the keys they had collected from their previous adventures. Each key was unique, imbued with the essence of the challenges they had overcome. One by one, he inserted them into the door's locks. With each turn, the carvings on the door began to glow, and a melodic hum filled the air. Finally, with a loud creak, the door swung open revealing a magnificent treasure room. Inside, the room was filled with gold, jewels, and artifacts from forgotten civilizations. The walls were lined with ancient tapestries and maps, treasures from every corner of the world. 
but the true treasure lay in the center of the roommate glowing crystal that pulsed with a vibrant, otherworldly energy. It cast a soft, enchanting light that filled the room with a sense of awe and wonder. As Marion and Foxy approached, the crystal spoke in a warm, resonant voice. Congratulations, brave adventurers. You have proven your worth and unlocked the secrets of the express adventure. Use this crystal wisely, for it holds the power to explore even more fantastic worlds. Marion and Foxy exchanged excited glances, their hearts filled with anticipation and joy. The crystal's promise of endless adventures ignited their imaginations. They knew that with this powerful artifact, the possibilities for new journeys were limitless. Their spirits high, they prepared to embark on their next adventure, ready to discover the wonders that awaited them in the vast, unexplored realms beyond.